Welcome one, welcome all. Thank you for joining us today to hear about our amazing next generation audiovisual ecosystem platform, Panta Ray. First of all, a little housekeeping. This is the first webinar series that we're hosting for Panta Ray. This is the second webinar itself. We did one on Tuesday. Uh, so keep your eyes on our email signatures and mailing list for updates on what's coming up. We will soon be hosting webinars on Kramer Control, so look out for that. We will share with you the slide deck and a recording of this webinar when it's finished. And if you have any questions at all throughout, um, please ask those questions in the questions box. There's a Q&A box on, on the GoToWebinar app. And uh, we'll answer all those questions at the end. Uh, the, this webinar will be approximately 45 minutes of info and demos, followed by 15 minutes for Q&A. And after the presentation and the Q&A is complete, there will be a short survey. It's very short. And this time we have a great incentive for everyone to stick around until the end and complete the survey for us because everyone that does so will be entered into a prize draw to win a lovely Kramer K-Speak USB-C speaker microphone with Bluetooth and wireless charging. It's a great little product. So just make sure you put your email address in there because anonymous entries cannot be considered for the draw. So what's the agenda for today? Uh, after a quick look at who Kramer is and what we offer, we'll look into Pantaray specifically, what it is and why we decided to invest so much time and effort and other resources into developing it. We have listened to you. If you've been in our previous webinars, the Kramer intro was too long. We've shortened that massively. Uh, we will talk about the global AV IT challenges and the trends in the industry and then look at how the Pantaray ecosystem helps solve and answer those. In addition, we will show you the value that this unique platform provides to customers and users and we'll close by answering any questions you may have. My colleague, Nick, is with us to answer your questions. Nick, if you're on mic, say hello. Not necessary. He's here, trust me. <laughs> yes, sorry, Matt. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> so, just a few words about who we are and what we offer. Kramer, a signal masters since 1981. We have a rich history of over 40 years in the industry. We are uh, global leaders with offices worldwide, with a headquarters in Amsterdam, uh, Singapore for our APAC region, and, and the Americas in New Jersey. Uh, we are well established with over, over in, a, in over 100 countries, and uh, Kramer consistently introduces innovative products and solutions that are enhancing user experience and applications with over a thousand products at this time. We collaborate with 10,000, more than 10,000 amazing partners, and we're very proud to have so many long-standing partners with us. We have a proven track record with over 100,000 projects and installations. Our products are versatile, catering to a wide range of domains, sectors, and applications. And we engage with over a million tier customers with a core focus on satisfying the needs and expectations of both partners and customers, highlighting our commitment to building lasting relationships. Kramer's portfolio consists of seven product categories from connectivity through to traditional signal management, AV over IP, up to collaboration devices and applications, and the audiovisual ecosystem that encompasses the entire audiovisual life cycle. Pantare, that's what we're here for today. So, introductions continuing. Right from the bottom, connectivity, we offer the most extensive portfolio for any signal, technology, distance and environment. Wherever connectivity is required, Kramer Connect offers the widest range of options for linking everything together. Next one up, what we're most well known for is our AV signal management. We're the pioneer of signal management products. During 2023 and the ISC 2024, we launched series three matrices, switches, extenders, distribution amplifiers, video processors, all fully interoperable at 4K60 with fast switching, actually seamless switching in some cases, and universal connectivity with USB-C. Next up, AV over IP. Our portfolio of AV over IP streamers includes solutions for one gigabit per second networks, all delivering superb user experience, enterprise grade IC security, and advanced yet intuitive management offering JPEG 2000, H.264, H.265, um, next one up, audio. We provide industry-leading audio products, including amplifiers, speakers, DSPs, and Dante endpoints, not forgetting, of course, the Kramer K-Speak that you could win. Collaboration devices. 
both Microsoft Teams rooms certified and bring your own device setups. Um, does, designed to empower Teams, ensuring seamless integration and interaction whether participants are in the office or joining remotely. Next up is Chrome Control. We offer an agile cloud-based control system that's simple for all. Kramer's con Kramer Control transforms the control experience end-to-end, -end, going far beyond traditional boundaries of AV. Next up, collaboration applications, not devices, applications. Uh, with market-leading VIA for wireless content sharing, we launched this year the Session Manager as part of the Pantaray platform. Um, I'm going to show you a lot more about that later on. We offer new levels of ease, flexibility, and security in all aspects of video conferencing and content sharing, providing full BYOD and BYOM flexibility, turning any room into a hybrid work or learning space. Next up, our services, our broad service portfolio comprised of tailored services that support you through every stage from design to installation, programming, configuration, commissioning, troubleshooting, and extended warranties and professional training, remote and in-house. And finally, encompassing all of that is Pantaray, a single centralized cloud-based audiovisual ecosystem platform that encompasses the full audiovisual lifecycle. From deployment of audiovisual systems to their management, operation, optimization, and to the final user experience. It provides a suite of services tailored for system integrators, IT AV managers, uh, managed service providers, and end user applications, facilitating easy setup and management of audiovisual environments across diverse sectors and applications. So that's the short bit. So what exactly is Pantaray, and why do we choose to invest so much in it? Well, I guess when you think about Kramer, you traditionally you think about hardware, devices, cables, audiovisual equipment. But what we really focus on is powering engagement with the most intuitive end-to-end -end audiovisual experiences. This is why over the past two years, we've listened to you, our customers, to understand better how you are using, implementing audiovisual in your organizations. What are the challenges you face every day and what can we do to improve your end-to-end -end audiovisual experience? So after taking all this in, we came up with Pantaray. Let's understand what it is. Why do we need an all-encompassing audiovisual ecosystem platform? We were quick to realize that AV and IT and, and system integrators are all facing some of the same challenges. Um, first of all, we have many environments distributed globally and managing AV and IT solutions across numerous environments, ranging from corporate offices to educational institutions and entertainment venues, presents unique challenges due to the diverse infrastructures, regulations and user requirements across global locations. Ensuring seamless integration and consistent performance in these varied environments requires a robust strategy for development, maintenance and support. Number two, hundreds, maybe thousands of spaces. Deploying AVIT solutions across hundreds or thousands of spaces, such as conference rooms, classrooms, public venues, amplifies the complexity of the system management and maintenance. Each space may have distinct usage patterns, equipment configurations, and user preferences, necessitating scalable management tools, standardized workflows, and efficient monitoring mechanisms to ensure reliability and performance at scale. Room systems can be difficult to manage and support because they all require different web or cloud-based tools for different uh, vendors, equipment, and such. Also, you have many devices from multiple vendors. The proliferation of AV and IT devices from multiple vendors in, introduces compatibility issues, interoperability challenges, and support complexities. Integrating diverse devices, such as displays, cameras, audio systems, control interfaces, all requires comprehensive compatibility testing. Sometimes robust middleware solutions are necessary, and vendor agnostic protocols to enable seamless communication and unified management across heterogeneous environments. Room systems are not always stable or reliable due to changing APIs and device firmware updates, and typically you don't have visibility or control of all the devices in these spaces, certainly from, from one space. 
Um, also, there is a high cost of ownership due to additional hardware, software, cabling, programming, and labor requirements. And last, you have a handful of installations. I'll explain. Despite managing AVIT solutions across more numerous spaces and devices, organizations often have a limited number of centralized installations or control centers responsible for overseeing operations, troubleshooting issues, and implementing updates. Ensuring that these installations are equipped with comprehensive monitoring tools, remote access capabilities, that's important, and skilled personnel is crucial for maintaining system uptime, resolving issues promptly, and optimizing resources across the entire AV IT ecosystem. So these are the challenges that we, uh, we look to solve with Pantaray. Additionally, several global AV trends. We can see that there are two main driving forces. One is connected to technological developments, and one is the user experience. The technology trends refer to the governance of AV and IT, value shifts from hardware to software, as well as the entrance of so-called gorillas in the software market. The user experience pillar refers to the expectations that everyone wants professional solutions and the transition from products to experiences. So there is a convergence of AV and IT. The lines between them are blurred more as AV systems become networked and interconnected. This trend calls for a platform that can seamlessly integrate with IT infrastructure and protocols, ensuring compatibility and interoperability across the entire ecosystem. And of course, there is a shift towards cloud-based solutions. Cloud computing is transforming the way AV systems are deployed, managed, and maintained. An ecosystem platform that leverages cloud-based infrastructure can offer benefits such as scalability, flexibility, and remote accessibility empowering organizations to deploy and manage AV solutions more effectively. So let's have a look at Pantaray specifically now. What does it do? How does it work? In the ever-evolving world of audiovisual technology, Kramer introduces a groundbreaking platform born from over 40 years of experience with an in-depth understanding of customer needs, a vast array of AV assets, and the legacy of a million devices installed we provide you with a centralized software platform for all your AV needs. It is a single ecosystem from, from which and via which the entire AV lifecycle can be managed, from the planning and design of the environment to its subsequent setup and commissioning, the connection of devices, the management and operation of the connected devices, over to the user experience backed by analytics and monitoring features. Pantare is designed to streamline the audiovisual ecosystem across different customers, vendors, environments, assets. Pantare provides a centralized experience across the entire Kramer stack and third party devices. Pantare plays a pivotal role in the broader AV ecosystem, connecting all key audiovisual domains. It integrates AV signal management, AV over IP audio systems, and more, ensuring seamless interaction with the diverse audiovisual landscape. The reason we've created this very extensive product is due to five AV trends, uh, those five AV trends that we mentioned, and to help to meet the challenges that IT and AV professionals have. Quick review. The Pantaray platform consists of three core services that enable users to Set up and manage the AV environment, monitor and support the environment and check for alerts in a proactive way to handle them, and analyze it using external business intelligence tools and see the history to get data-driven insights. On the same platform, we offer two special services that are dedicated for special tasks. Session Manager, which I mentioned earlier on, is our new um, uh, collaboration system. We'll talk about that in detail in a bit. Uh, enables you to set up customizable welcome screens for meeting rooms and classrooms that provide a unified and intuitive experience to the end users. And the AV over IP manager has dedicated functionality to manage the AV over IP environment where we have hundreds of encoders and decoders. We can see the status of that system in one place. And last, we have administration tools. So you can create and manage customers, users with the right levels of permissions. So let's look at each one of these in a little more detail. First of all, the setup and management. 
This allows you to quickly and almost automatically build, configure and manage your entire audiovisual environment remotely or on site. In the, set, in the setup function, you set up your AV environment. I'll show you how to do that. Whether you have one site, several sites across the globe, you set them all up via this module. Uh, you can upload an Excel file with the space and device structure and, uh, and then it's, it's a manual setup or you can allow it to do the um, discovery and pairing of the, uh, of the network and uh, sync all your devices uh, without doing so manually. In the management section, you get an overview of all the spaces and devices in one place, and this significantly reduces the time and resources you need to set up and manage a system. Next up is monitoring and support. Uh, with this, you can see all the alerts in one place, track, monitor, and report on the health status of your audiovisual environment. You can also remotely troubleshoot and update your devices. Uh, the monitor and support module also allows you to be more proactive, mitigating events before they happen instead of being reactive and having to extinguish fires uh, as and when they are sprung on you, which impacts the user experience and support activities. As you monitor the spaces and devices, being able to quickly solve issues remotely you can increase the uptime and utilization of your spaces. Next up is the analytics. So the alerts will show you the current situation. Uh, you can use the analytics module to analyze historic data and make informed decisions based on this. In our analytics module, we use an external uh, business intelligence tool that helps create dashboards and generate reports for your AV environment. Thereby, you can gain actionable intelligence to better anticipate, plan, and budget for your AV needs. You can optimize the utilization of your AV investment and identify trends and anomalies to make business decisions. First of the special services being the AV over IP manager. With Pantaray's AV over IP manager, you have one single environment that allows you to manage large deployments of AV encoders and decoders. This will save significant time and effort for those installing and commissioning. We do so by providing an innovative cloud-based AV over IP manager that supports multiple AV over IP technologies. If you're familiar with our KDS7 manager, uh, it has similar functionality, but in the cloud. And this allows you to easily manage all your AV devices, AV over IP devices and operations with advanced tools for video routing, KM, KVM, video walls, grouping, um, and even KVM roaming, which is a very clever thing. I'll give you a little tip on that later. And the second of our special services being Session Manager. We integrate two award-winning products, VIA and Quick Launch. The Pantare Session Manager is a unified service for session initiation, content management, wireless presentation and collaboration, and physical digital control. What's unique to Kramer Session Manager is you can launch third-party applications natively on the box. The session manager makes sure that all users have the same high-end user experience. So let's understand the significant benefits that Pantare brings to system integrators, distributors, and end users. As we've seen in previous slides, we have so many benefits to offer with our truly remarkable centralized platform for the AV environment. With this leading edge audio visual ecosystem platform, we offer true time and cost savings, revenue growth opportunities, and enhanced customer satisfaction. System integrators, IT managers, end users, managed service providers will save time costs in many ways. First, it's a centralized platform for the entire environment. No need to switch to different servers, different websites to manage. <coughs> Excuse me. You can easily and quickly set up any AV environment, as we've seen above with the use of many of the services, AV IT support costs and time are reduced significantly. Operational efficiency is increased in many ways. For example, dive into the fast setup and the insights obtained from the analytics. Important to us and our customers is the fact that our platform is vendor agnostic and any device and app can be connected to it in one way or another. That means an existing investment can be utilized and there's no need to buy new equipment and throw away existing ones, even if it's not a Kramer device. Pantare is compatible. Obviously, this offers revenue growth. There are several ways in which our customers, both system integrators and end users, can increase their revenues with Pantare. 
Firstly, it's easy to deploy large-scale installations, meaning you can install large projects with relatively little effort. Due to the analytics, we can enable preventative maintenance. The uptime of your spaces can be guaranteed, which means you ensure your organization's business continuity. We also provide enhanced customer satisfaction through our intuitive user experience, through the many customization options, a truly unified and customizable user experience can be built for any organization. Users can access through any device and seamlessly present their content. Pantare truly allows collaboration anytime, anywhere. Now I've talked a lot and you've listened. Thanks for sticking around. Now it's time for show and tell. I have a site agent and a Pantare environment to browse. So let's dive into that. Here's my browser and I am logged in to the physical device that is the Pantare site agent. Now, this is a physical device that sits on site and this is the bit that does the network discovery and provides the link between your physical site and the Pantare um, cloud system. We can see it needs to be licensed. This one is not at the moment. And we have security uh, settings, including SSL. So uh, we can get around your security policies easily. Get around them. <laughs> we can come inside with them very easily. Uh, and obviously updates time and date and so on. So that's the box that sits on site and communicates with Pantare. Tiny little box. Pantare itself is in the cloud. And here it is. As you can see, we have a cloud address. This can be reached anywhere in the world. And the first thing you'll see when you log in is the overview page, which we won't talk much about this at the moment, but one thing I would like to point out, if you are an end user, you will see your account here. If you are a system integrator or managed service provider and you're managing several systems, there will be a drop down here where you can impersonate any of those companies. We only have two in our uh, research and development at the moment. So from the overview, I'm going to go straight into environment as part of the setup and management section. And we can see we have the alpha technologies test environment here. I can expand this and you can see we have two sites and a list of unassociated devices. We can create sites by simply right clicking and we can add a space. When we do that, we get a choice of whether it's a building, a floor, a room or a site description and so on. Uh, and that will then appear there. I won't do that right away. So let's dig straight into the EMEA site. We can see we have a west wing and an east wing, a control room and an experience center. Let's click on the experience center. We can see it has 14 devices, all of which are connected. And we can see from the list here, we've got a Kramer KDS 17, uh, AV over IP system. So let's click on one of those. This particular device, we can see all of its information here. It's a Kramer device, so we can do basic things like reset, factory reset, or blink the device so it blinks its light so we know which one it is. And we can also click on product info here, which will take us to the web page, which will allow us to download manuals, um, drivers, and such for that product. But if I use the web access button here, you will see that while still in the cloud, I am taken to the, the local web interface for that product. And we can access all of the settings that you would normally see if you were logged in locally. We can do that with all of the devices in this space. Um, and the really exciting thing, if we go to our corporate site here, you'll see there is a non-Kramer space. In here, we have third-party devices. We can see this one is a Crestron Electronics AM3200 collaboration system. We don't see the simple options here because it's not a Kramer device, but we do see web access. So if I click on that, we can now access the local web GUI for that device remotely and it's not a Kramer device. So that's the environment space. This is where the unassociated devices, this is where they're all discovered, and you can right click and associate the device with a space. It's that simple. So moving on from the environment tab, 
let's go to the alerts, which is part of the monitoring and support. We can see here that the devices that are connected that are uh, being scanned, this is where the alerts will appear. So for instance, we, for the Experience Center, Alpha Technologies, we have a KDS-17 that is apparently disconnected, device is not responding. We can see details of the, uh, this particular uh, alert. It's happened three times. So we certainly need to uh, assign that to someone to have a look. So how would we do that? We would click the tick box, we would add an incident, and we would assign that to a particular person. And that person would receive a email or a notification on the mobile application. Once that person has been assigned, we can go into incident management and we can see these are the current live incidents that are, are assigned to specific people. We can see the details of those incidents. We'll just go back there. And of course, we can download um, a list of them. Next up, the devices page, number of different ways that you can see what devices are on your site and the current status of them. Nice tree or a tree map. And we can click into east side, for instance, or the experience center. Here we are. And we can see the status of all those devices immediately. Moving on to our special services. So session manager, which I did mention earlier on, I'm going to try to describe what this is. And the easiest way to do it would be for me to show you one of the templates that's being used. So session manager is a platform agnostic collaboration system. Uh, it brings quick launch and via together. And this is uh, one of the simple templates that you can apply to it. And you can see there are a lot of options here for launching applications, for joining meetings, uh, for organizing meetings, and all of this is completely customizable. It is, it can be a standalone product, a session manager, uh, but if you want to manage an estate of them, it is done so through Pantale. And here we are, a different template, which shows you that it can be completely customizable. Next in the special services section is the AV over IP manager. At the moment, uh, this is focused on KDS 17. If you're familiar with our KDS 7 manager, all of these same options will be familiar to you. Uh, and you can manage the entire site of KDS 17 devices. Uh, we can see that these two are online. We should be able to access their web GUIs and we can manage things like video walls, which there isn't one set up on this, uh, but we do have KVM roaming set up. So what this does is um, shares your keyboard and mouse with multiple different endpoints by simply moving your mouse across from one screen to another. One of the advanced features of our AV over IP systems. So I've shown you the setup and management section. I've shown you the monitoring and support section, apart from the app updater here. If it is Kramer equipment, we can uh, action firmware updates remotely through this. For instance, one of these KDS SW3 EN7s telling us it can have an update. So we would simply tick that box and tick the, hit the upgrade button and that would happen. In addition to those that I've shown you so far, we can administrate the actual customers that we have. We can administrate the users that we have. And we can also jump into some more advanced settings. One of the more interesting advanced settings here would be the integration. So Pantheray does integrate with external CMS tools. For now, we have integrated ServiceNow, Jira, Freshdesk. We also have integrated Microsoft Teams and Slack. We have integrated a, a, a email service subscription as well so that people can get email alerts and some Teams room configuration uh, integration as well. As time goes on, we will be integrating more and more services as we get asked to. There are obviously lots of services that are used out there and we want to integrate with those. So, but for now we have ServiceNow, Jira, Freshdesk, 
uh, and Slack and Teams. Uh, moving on from that would be the analytics. This is an extremely powerful tool. It opens up a separate window. Um, it operates through Pantaray. And we can see some very comprehensive dashboards in here, all, all completely customizable. So here's the active alerts dashboard. We can see the different rooms and which ones are causing the most issues. The experience center is clearly one of them. Uh, you can get incredible insights through customized dashboards here. And if I just go back here, I can go to devices per customer. And in here, you'll see this is the customization interface. There is a lot of options, a lot of variables that can be tracked and a lot of ways to show your users that information uh, in an, an approachable way. Very, very powerful tool. And back to the overview, nice little snapshot of how many devices we have, how many alerts we have, how many of those alerts are currently incidents, and a little snapshot of some of the devices and their current status. So that is Pantare in a nutshell. Don't forget we have the site agent, that's the bit that sits on the network, the physical box that discovers the devices and communicates with the server. And then obviously that has a local IP address at this time. Uh, and then the cloud interface of Pantare itself, whereby you can manage everything you need to. There is a lot more information available on the website. Uh, and obviously you can talk to your sales team uh, uh, near you and they will fill you in on details. We're also offering uh, proof of concepts, which is somewhat essential, I would say, because every network is different. If you have a customer uh, who's interested in having Panther 8, we would, we would uh, arrange us a proof of concept on their site to ensure that everything that needs to work works properly when they go with the full rollout of, of the of the system. So now we are with 34 minutes in and it's time for some Q&A. So I hope some questions have came in already. I'm going to jump into the questions now. My colleague Nick is with us. Feel free to ask whatever you would like to ask. Well, Matt, we uh, we actually don't have any questions as of yet. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, maybe we can. I mean, we had uh, dozens of questions on the webinar a couple of days ago. Uh, maybe we can uh, run through some of those. I, I think one one question that people asked was about the cost mm -hmm. um, of the uh, site agent, not the site agent, the um, the proof of concept. The cost of the proof of concept, I believe, is around eight hundred pound mark. That yeah, does include the site agent. Euros. Yes, uh, that does include the site agent for the proof of concept. So, if you do go ahead with a um, Pantare system, then there will be additional cost to that and a, a, a site agent. But for the proof of concept, there's just one fee, and we will make it work for you. Right, we ha we have our first live question, uh, mm. and that's from Johan, and he says, "Can you showcase VIA management in the system?" I'd just like to give a quick overview. I can't actually expand that question and see it all. So, can you showcase VIA management in the system? I mean, I, maybe we should talk about um, the um, session manager, perhaps, or. Mm. Or how? I mean, or the other the other part of it would be, you know, how do you um, how do you control a veer that is on the network via Pantare? What can you what can you see? I, we probably don't have a veer connected to the network, so we'd have to just explain how that would work. Yes. So, via devices obviously have their own web interface, so you'd be able to access that web interface um, remotely through Pantare. 
We currently offer a, a specific to VIA, a VIA management system called VSM, VIA Site Manager. Pantare has Session Manager, which has the option to integrate VIA into that software that sits on the box. Now, Session Manager can be managed through Pantare, but we don't, we haven't brought VSM across from VSM directly to Pantare yet. Um, I think as time goes on, what you'll see is Session Manager will probably replace VIA at some point. Um, Keep your eye, keep tuned on that one. I am not sure, but we can only through Pantaray at the moment. We can only manage via systems individually, remotely, not a VSM system. But if you have Session Manager, it does all of the things that VIA does and more, and is manageable through Pantaray. Okay, I've, I've uh, turned off my webcam because I was having some issues uh, but uh, just want to remind people if they have a question that they want to ask that there is a, a question mark in a speech bubble on the well might be the right hand side of the screen but in the toolbar of the go to webinar so if you click on the uh, on the question mark you should be able to access uh, the questions uh, and, and ask us questions through there I just realized how low my battery is. <laughs> well, while we're waiting we for see, more questions, yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Right, yes, we do have another question. Uh, they're all coming in thick and fast. <laughs> Back in the room. Sorry about that. Okay. So um, Anya asks, "Do we have pricing information?" And the answer to that is, Anya, yes, we do. Um, obviously, I, I know I know who you are, and there will be specific questions uh, that you'll have uh, about your pricing, uh, which will uh, you know take through our the Emir. HQ, uh, but as a general point, uh, the, the the pricing model is set, um, and uh, uh, most uh, Matt, do you want to expand any more on on that on the pricing model? Yes, there are there are three tiers to the pricing model for the subscription at least. Um, the the base tier gets you the standby. <laughs> The setup and management. That's right, yes. So the base tier gets you the setup and management. The next tier up gets you monitoring and support, and the tier above that gets you the full analytics as well. Um, it's obviously currency dependent, so depending on where you are in the world, we'll have to provide the correct prices to you. So we'll get in touch with your local offices and have them provide some information to you for that. Um, but along with the three tiers, there are the special services. So the AV over IP manager and the um, session manager, that all comes as a extra cost, but sort of per device or per environment. Okay, thanks uh, for that, the answer to that, Matt. Um, the site agent box, has it been released yet and the price? It has been released. I do have um, site agent hardware. And the price, I believe, is around a thousand euros for the actual device itself. Would that be right, Nick? Yep. Yep. Okay. Indeed. Yep. So, and it's um, that's that's the only hardware that comes with the, the system. Um, and uh, it, as far as I'm aware, it's a one. The hardware is a one-off cost. Uh, yes. Next question, and this is I'm surprised we haven't been asked this one. Uh, a couple of days ago and that is will there be an on-prem version of Pantaray available and when and that was R2 who's asked that well that I do not know that's not something that I have been told about it is possible if it's something that is required which is quite likely because we there are a lot of customers out there militaries and governments that that would want an on-site Pantaray server. We will find out for you. We'll have to get back to you on that one by email. 
Um, uh, oh yes, just a just a quick update, Matt. Um, that uh, perhaps on the subject of uh, VSI Manager, that uh, you know it is in the it's in the roadmap. I think it's uh, publicly public knowledge that 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 is in the roadmap for that. Um, okay. Now the, another question is, uh, and this is a, a very good question: Where is the cloud server hosted? Which country it is important for Germany, uh, particular, and Europe? This is from Fabian. Fabian. Yeah, this this is very important for GDPR and such. At the moment, the Pantare system, I believe, uses Amazon Web Services. So, with the the system as it is at the moment, not sure but we can certainly configure the AWS system to only store certain information in certain places. So um, that's something that we will certainly have to, we'll have to do. So that is definitely going to, uh, to be compliant with GDPR and all of those extra things. Okay, um, now David has asked, can the system generate calls on help desk systems to act as a tracker on SLAs, et cetera? Good question. So I mentioned some of the integration with the third-party services like uh, Jira and ServiceNow. So the answer is yes, but it's limited to those services at the moment. If you have a specific help desk system that needs to be integrated into Pantale, uh, then we can do that as time goes on. It's obviously very new, but it is software. Everything's possible. Uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, Chris has asked, how many site agents are needed for a multi-campus site like our university? Mm. Um, one overall or one on each site? That's a good question. It depends on the topology of your network. Uh, if you have multiple VLANs, so you might have a VLAN for VIA devices, but you might also have a VLAN for control systems. And then you might have those VLANs across several different sites. Um, so as I understand it, you would need a site agent for every VLAN that needs to be managed. Although this is a question that's been asked before, and perhaps there is a better way that we could do that. So I'll have a chat with the developers for Pantare and talk to them specifically about how that works, how we would like it to work, and we'll get back to you by email on that one. Thank you for the question. It's, a, it's an important one, that is. Yeah, I, and I, I think I'll just add here, uh, Matt. Then talking of universities, where we, we're already ru running out um, proof of concepts in the UK for um, for universities, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, work done even before the proof of concept in 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 terms of you know understanding which devices need to be um, uh, controlled and uh, what's on the what's on the network. So, uh, mm -hmm. so you know, we we do a a, a diligent um, site survey basically uh, yeah. and at that point we will discover uh, if you would if you want to uh, go for a proof of concept we'd discover how many um, uh, site agents you'd need for the entire campus right but the proof of concept is is, is a bit more limited uh, in terms of what we uh, what we offer for the the price of 800 pounds or a thousand euros mm -hmm. um, okay sorry do you want to add anything to that before I move on to the next question no, no, that's fine. So the next question comes from Johan, and it is, does the site agent have more than one LAN interface or VLAN support? It only has the one LAN interface natively. It's actually the same hardware form factor as the VIA Connect 2. So it has two USB 3 on the front, one USB 2, HDMI out, um, and one LAN interface. Now, if you were... It could be configured to use a second LAN interface, but I'm not sure how the software would work well with that. If you need a site agent with more than one LAN interface uh, or multiple network support, then uh, again, I'll have a chat with our developers, see if there is a site agent plus perhaps in the pipeline. Um, it's a good thought. If we had one with, with two network ports, then that would make things quite a bit more flexible. Good question, thank you for that. Yeah, and I think that uh, ties in with the next question that we have, which is from Chris again, is, uh, and that is, what uh, built-in redundancy is available on a site agent device? That's not something I've been asked. 
actually. I'd have to find out if there is a redundancy option. It's obviously on version one at the moment. So these all of these questions are really important to us. We we need to know what you guys need. And if that's something that you need, obviously redundancy is important. Um, I'll find out for you. All of these questions we're going to answer individually by email as well. Okay. Uh that at the moment that's the end of the question so um we'll, but we'll we'll give it a, a minute or two because normally when we say that's the end of the questions people suddenly go oh i i have a question that hasn't been answered yet uh, mm -hmm. so please feel free to uh, uh to uh, keep on ask asking questions um and of course if you if you do have a question um that suddenly comes to you you know tomorrow or the day after uh, contact us and we will answer Absolutely. I think the chat might be disabled for the audience. Nobody said anything in there. Yeah, but the questions is the questions is how uh, we're expecting the uh, uh, contact uh, people to contact us. Sure. Okay. Yes, we have another question. Uh, how many clients does the box support at the same time? Is it 100, 1,000? Uh, I assume we're talking about the site agent device here. Yes, yes, that makes sense. So the site agent being on the local network obviously has to discover or be told what devices are on there to look at. Um, I'm not sure of the limitations, but we are talking hundreds of devices. Um, only limited by the network, I would imagine. But obviously, it has a it's a small PC, so there are limitations to it, but I'm pretty sure it's hundreds, but perhaps not a thousand. Again, I will find out and uh, let you know by email. And it's worth noting that if any of these questions are relevant, or question and answers are relevant to everyone, then perhaps we'll have a frequently asked questions section on the website where this will be included. I'm going to suggest that to our developers now. Good. Well, we're, we're 10 minutes early finishing. I hope we've answered everything. I hope we've provided you with all the information that you needed to know. There's obviously a lot more to talk about on Pantare. It does a lot that I haven't shown you. I only have time to show you a sort of brief overview of it, but you've all seen the actual interface now and I'm browsing around it. You've seen how I um, see a alert, convert that to an incident. Uh, create the environment itself. Oh, we have another question. Yeah, uh, from Uthman Majid. I'm sorry if I haven't pronounced your name right. Um, uh, a software only site agent for our own hardware would be nice. Can that be something to consider? That was a question we got asked on Tuesday as well. I do have an ISO image for the Pantera site agent. I just don't know if I'm allowed to distribute that outside of Kramer. So I know it can be installed on, um, it can certainly be installed on Linux boxes, but I think it would need to be the specific hardware that we provide, primarily for security reasons. Obviously this being a cloud system needs to be very secure. So I think it would need to be our own box. I'll find out for you. I'll let you know. Again, that needs to be on the frequently asked questions section. Oh, and my uh, my colleague has actually came back and gave us an answer on how many devices does it support. Thank you for that, Richard. Um, apparently, it is unlimited, but if it's going to be over 2,000 devices, we need to be informed of that. Perhaps we'll need an upgraded version of the hardware, but at the moment, it's somewhat unlimited, below 2,000. <laughs> and we can we can tailor the the way that it discovers devices as well we can give it a specific ip range we can give it a specific port set or tell it to omit certain ports we certainly don't want our box to be causing it security alerts because that's a different system altogether um so yes we've got an av and it management platform but your security alerts should still come from a different system it's not that
I think if no one's got any more questions, now would probably be a good time to uh, to call it a day on the on the webinar. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Uh, it's been fun presenting. Yes, thank you very much for your engagement. We appreciate it. Indeed, and don't forget there will be a survey coming up where you can learn, uh, you can win a Kramer case speak. And keep your eye on our email signatures and our mail shots for the um, the webinars that are coming up later this year. Kramer Control being one of them. Well, thank you so much for your time, everybody, and we'll see you in the next webinar.